Howdy everyone. Welcome to This Old Vegan. My name is Merlene Vassell. For the first time, I've decided to plant most of my seedlings in containers in my backyard. I'm doing this because last year, a nun from a nearby church was helping herself to my tomatoes. This year, I'll have to worry about the animals I feed helping themselves, as well as the small size of the area that gets sun most of the day. I'm using random containers I've saved over the years. I'll put them in this area that isn't shaded by my magnolia tree. The tomatoes will go into the largest containers and I won't put them under the tent that I ordered. There were a lot of seedlings, so I didn't finish planting them all. Just the kale, Swiss chard, peppers, and remaining eggplant seeds. Until the tent comes, I'll cover them with this leftover temporary fence material I had in my shed. Finally, I carefully separated and repotted the carrots and onions, which took a very long time. The squirrels dug up some of them, but thankfully the tent arrived. I bought this garden mesh netting kit at Home Depot for about $50 and was satisfied with it. The plants are growing well under the netting and there were very few weeds. I decided to plant a few more squash seeds for the side yard because there was plenty of empty space. I ended up transplanting the eggplants from the side yard into pots because they weren't doing too well. Not very many bean plants came up, which might be because the seeds are old, so I planted a lot more seeds. Then I cleared the weeds from this area so I can put some more squash here. The squash grew very well and looked beautiful.
Over the course of the summer, the squash plants were slowly killed off one by one by squash vine borers. I was so glad that I had planted a few more seeds. When the original two squash plants died, I still had a couple more. The beans look pretty good, but I only harvested them once or twice. I kept overlooking them, probably because I'm not really that crazy about eating string beans. The tomatoes are coming along really nicely. There are two different varieties here. The plants under the tent look great. The peppers and eggplants are doing well. This was my first real attempt at growing carrots and onions, and they seem to be flourishing. The Swiss chard surprised me. The seedlings looked pretty scrawny, but now the leaves are truly stunning. But there was one big failure. The kale started off well enough, but then ended up covered with insects. I don't use pesticides and the plants were dying, so I pulled the containers out and put them aside. Later on, I'll take the peppers and eggplants out from under the tent so that their blossoms can be pollinated. In the final video in this series, I'll show you the vegetables I harvested and the flowers that I grew. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.